All right, guys, welcome to episode number 17 of the Limitless Mindset Podcast. This one's going to be a quick one today, uh, but this is something that I think is going to be absolutely detrimental to you guys. Uh, this is something that I work with so many people on, and it's going to be basically having a zero option mentality. This is something that, you know, anybody that's looking to take on some new endeavor, right? Could be I'm looking to get a new promotion, a new job. I'm looking to take on a new career. The problem is, is too many people give themselves an out, right? And what I mean by that is you got a plan B. You got a plan A and you got a plan B. And the problem is, is when you have a plan B, you're never going to fully commit to executing on plan A because you always have that safety net behind you, right? I see this a ton with agents that come to me that may be working a job already. And maybe this is you, right? Maybe you're working a job and you say, hey, I want to go and get into a different career path. I want to try something different out there. I want to, you know, make this transition in my life, whatever it is. And the problem is, is if you have that safety net underneath you, you're never going to commit. I can guarantee it. I can't think of a single person that I know that allowed themselves the ability to have a backup plan that was able to fully commit. And if they did, it, it's extremely hindered their growth or success into going into something different, right? This is all about the mindset side of things too. When you go into any new business endeavor, or like I said, you go into, you know, you're looking to get a different promotion or you're looking to do something different and you give yourself in your back of your mind, you say, well, I know I need to do this. I know this is the work that I need to put in, you know, and maybe that looks something like you go to your regular job nine to 10 hours a day, and then you get home and you're like, well, I don't feel like it. I'm tired today. Right. And you're not dedicating an additional four to five hours after your current job to build your current business until you're able to quit that job, you've already given yourself a reason to fail. And this is something that I think so many people fuck up on because in my opinion, if you're not giving yourself, you know, basically a zero option mentality, you're going to set yourself up for failure a hundred percent. This is something that as I go into taking on any new task, I don't ever tell myself it's not going to work one way or another. It's going to work. How fast is it going to work? I have no idea, right? It could take me a while. Uh, it could go happen very quickly, right? I don't know. But the problem is, is if you go into this and you don't have a zero option mentality with it and you just say, well, I'm, I think it's going to work. I'm going to figure it out. And then guess what happens? You hit that first roadblock. Something comes up to you. Uh, something basically happens in it or it doesn't scale as fast as you think it did. Or maybe you're losing money, right? When you get into business, your first two, three months, sometimes you're in the negative. You're spending money on whatever it is. Could be a product, could be a resource. Uh, you know, you're spending money in gas driving around, trying to acquire new customers, whatever that looks like. Like, and you're not seeing the instant ROI or return that you thought you would or getting the results that you thought you did, it's going to be really easy to talk yourself out of quitting at that point or talk yourself into quitting, right? You say, hey, this just isn't working. It's not for me. Uh, this job over here I got is definitely more profitable. So I need to just back off. And I think especially like in real estate, this is one of the biggest reasons people fail is they give themselves that safety net. We see it all the time. I see people that come in, have a job. Okay, I'm going to make that transition into real estate. And I catch them right at that peak, right? They come to me and say, Blake, this this is my goal. I want to make that transition and I want to make that job. But because they have that job, they have a plan B, right? If real estate doesn't work out or whatever career, you know, plug and play wherever you're at in your point in your life right now, if this doesn't work out for me, it's okay. I have this backup plan over here. Well, subliminally, what are you telling yourself right there? You're basically telling yourself that if that doesn't work out, you have another option, right? Now, at that point, are you truly pushing yourself to the limit? Are you truly doing everything that you need to do to be successful? You know, if you kind of envision you're getting a paycheck every month, right? You got bills to pay. We all do. We got kids, you know, we got cars, we got houses. And you know that you're getting that steady paycheck. You're probably going to let off the gas a little bit. Where if tomorrow, let's say you were fired, you lost that paycheck and you had no other option, right? You just said, I have to make this work. If I don't make this work, I'm not getting a paycheck. I have to succeed at this. Would you probably be more motivated to make more calls? Would you be more motivated to do more marketing? Would you be more motivated to go out and meet new customers? You know, of course you would, right? This is because you don't have a you don't have an option, right? You have zero options at that point. Your only option is to go out and win at that point. And that's where too many people give themselves an out. And this is something I think that is going to completely hinder you. If you're that person right now, uh, maybe you've dabbled into something. Maybe you're like, hey, I want to start up this project. I want to start my own business. And you dedicate more 
energy and time into your current job instead of when you get off of that job or maybe during the day as you're at that job starting to work a little bit on your own business without the intent of quitting that job within a month or two, you're going to fail. You probably most likely are not going to succeed. You're not going to make it because you're giving yourself that option. You're giving yourself that plan B. Anybody with a plan B, in my opinion, you're going to fail. It's just, it is what it is. You're not going to be able to make it. Uh, you need to take that comfort out from underneath you and you need to really push yourself. This is something, you know, I think that I coach so many freaking people on right now, you know, and I look at some of my most successful agents right now that I have with me that came to me from day one. And, you know, I remember they had a job and they said, you know, uh, I want to make this transition. And I looked them all in the face and told them all the same thing. Your job will eventually hinder you. There's going to be a point where you're going to have to commit to pulling that safety net out from underneath you, because as long as you have that comfortable, steady paycheck coming in, you're never going to be dedicated enough to put in the work on the days that suck, right? You have to have something pushing you on the days because let's face it, motivation comes and goes. Nobody wakes up, not even myself every day and is highly motivated but if you're dedicated to what you're doing and you're dedicated to the end goal, you give yourself a zero option mentality, you're going to go out there and do the things that you need to do on those hard days. And guess what? That steady paycheck you have is going to basically cushion your ability to get out there and do what you need to do. It happens all the time. And, you know, it's, it's, I can't tell you guys how many times I've seen this again within my brokerage and with the agents and with the people that I work with, the ones that pull that safety net out from underneath them, it's uncomfortable. It's scary as hell. I've been there myself. I get it. Especially when you're transitioning from a steady paycheck every two to three weeks to maybe like a commission based job. Uh, which by the way, I would never go back to a steady paycheck. I'm a hundred percent commission based and, uh, I love it that way. Now, uh, if you would have asked me that 10 years ago, I probably would have told you the exact opposite, but now that I'm here and I do it every day, it's, it's, it's amazing. So, you know, again, hopefully this is something you guys take to heart. If you're in that position in your life and you're in that point in your life where you're trying to make a transition and you're trying to do something different with yourself, I highly recommend you give yourself that zero option mentality. You need to set a goal and you need to basically commit to it, right? You, it, you can't go into something and just basically say, Hey, I'm going to do this. And if it doesn't work, it's okay. I got this over here. Cause already in your head, if you really think about that, you've already told yourself you're going to fail. You've already given yourself permission to fail. You've already given yourself the ability to back off when things get challenging. You've already given yourself permission to quit. Uh, as soon as you come up your first obstacle or roadblock, you haven't given yourself that zero option. I'm going to make this no matter what, uh, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how many times I fall down on this, I'm going to find the way that does work. That's what you guys need to do. You guys need to have that thought process and mindset. Anytime you go into a new endeavor or anytime you're looking to make that career change or shift, that needs to be where you guys are at. So hopefully this was of some value to you guys. I appreciate you guys listening in. If you got some value, maybe you guys know somebody right now that's in a transition in their life and they're looking to make that change and they got that safety net underneath them and you keep seeing them fail at the new endeavors because that safety net's there, feel free to share this with them if you think they need to hear it. And as always, guys, get out there, crush it.